Yeah, well, he probably wants to. He's trying to change the narrative because, like, if you Google him, like, it's not great. Well, it wouldn't be an Us Weekly Hot Hollywood podcast if we didn't have Sarah Huron telling us about Jana Kramer's messy divorce. First, Jana Kramer's messy relationship, now her messy divorce. Sarah Huron, please keep the ball rolling and tell us what is up with this newly bosomed, newly single icon. It's so funny because on this podcast, I used to make my intention every week that she <laughs> would get divorced, which is, I know, a horrible thing to say about, like, someone, but it just, like, I needed it and now she's divorced she got divorced real quick she just like gave him the money and wanted to move on um but she's not rid of my costin yet of course because they do have two children together um young kids i think they're like four and two or something and Jana, um us weekly did break the news a few months weeks ago maybe months at this point that mike was on bumble um and demoy actually shared or demois shared a screenshot of his bumble profile and apparently oh. it made some comment like as long as you're not you like social media doesn't dictate your life we'll get along yeah. just fine like all i care about is my kids and not totally sure if this is direct directly related but not long after that was getting a lot of attention which i'm sure everyone was sending to jana because she's very big in the dms with her followers she posted on twitter and the lies keep on coming i feel a like country song brewing and then she went on instagram and posted an infographic outlining the 21 telltale tell all traits of a narcissist. Um, so yeah, I think these two, and it's funny cause she always posts these things about like killing it with kindness and taking the high road. And then cause she's human, she'll have a setback and start <laughs> subtweeting and stuff. So I think there's still so much more to know. And I want to know if she's either finding out new stuff about their marriage or if she's pissed about the dating profile, trying to say like, it's her fault. Cause she cares so much about social media things. Like, yeah, that might be annoying. She is on social media a lot, Mike Costin, And that might not be like what your, where your whatever values lie, but like you also cheated on her. So <laughs> where do you have a stand to like be mad at her for wanting to go on Instagram? <laughs> it's sort of a tricky situation because yeah, he might not want someone who's all up in the social media world or like wants to be an influencer because he's he sort of hates that. Or but spilling his dirty laundry. Or spilling his dirty laundry. But didn't he co co-write that book and co-host that podcast? Yes, he very much got involved. He needs to take over her because she doesn't let him have his social media or she didn't because he would like cheat. So he would take over her Instagram every Monday on Mike Monday. <laughs> oh, gross. Um, but it's tough because you're like, I mean, you don't need to shade your ex in your new dating profile. You guys are already broken up. The damage is done. Yeah, well, he probably wants to, he's trying to change the narrative because like, if you Google him, like, it's not great. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's definitely, definitely not great. And question, have you ever slid in Jana Kramer's DMs? I don't think so. Well, I don't it might be high time. So. Uh, yeah, maybe I should. I don't know, maybe just like, ask her how she's doing like what do i say to her i would send her some hearts and say f word mike in huge letters just like you know show her some support that way all right i'll get i'll get right on that okay thank you